Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is one of the chapters from the free starter bundle of my Mastering the SharePoint Framework course by Voitanos. You can find the other free videos from the starter bundle that are listed in the description below. Now that course contains over 35 hours of in-depth explanation and instructor-led demos all by me that teaches you everything you need to know about the SharePoint Framework or SPFX and to become a master at it. Now, I offer the course in three different bundles, the starter bundle, that's everything I've already mentioned, um, as well as two other bundles, the fundamentals bundle and the ultimates bundle. Each bundle contains more content than the previous bundle and some additional resources. And you can learn more about the course on my site uh, that's linked here, uh, as well as linked in the notes uh, in the description below. Now with the context set, enjoy the rest of this chapter. Hi, welcome to my course on extending and creating customizations for SharePoint using the SharePoint framework. Now, I wanna take a minute to first just welcome you to my course, explain what this course is, and then we'll dive into what you're gonna find within this course. My goal in this course is to teach you what you'll need to know, not only to be productive at your job, but to master the SharePoint framework. Now, in this first chapter, I'm gonna introduce you to the course so you know what you can expect. So let's start with who this course is for. You may be wondering who I built this course for. And the student that I have in mind when building this course are two different kinds of web developers. This includes developers with lots to a little bit of traditional SharePoint development experience. The types of developers who build farm solutions, sandbox solutions, SharePoint hosted add-ins, provider hosted add-ins, or developers who have used tools like SharePoint Designer to write client-side solutions. I'm also thinking about developers with experience building client-side solutions using JavaScript. Now, you may not have experience developing for SharePoint in the past, and that's okay. The SharePoint framework involves creating client-side components for SharePoint using the technologies that you're familiar with, like JavaScript and CSS. It'll help to know some stuff about SharePoint, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Because let's just start by explaining what this chapter is all about. In this chapter, I'm gonna to start to, by introducing you to the different variants of this course. Now I've packaged this course into three different bundles. Right now, you're watching the free starter bundle that includes the first few chapters. And there are two more bundles that I'll cover in another lesson in this chapter. They cover the different aspects of the SharePoint framework. Now, of course, you also might want to get an idea of everything that's in the course. So before we wrap this chapter up, make sure you stop by this lesson so that you can see what topics are covered in the course. Now I'll go chapter by chapter and explain what you'll get out of each one of these different chapters. Next, I want to explain how you can get the most out of this course and all the associated resources that I offer, like office hours, mastermind groups for discussions, and how to ask questions throughout the time of your taking this course. And before I wrap this introductory lesson up, let's talk about what you need to be successful in this course. Now, of course, nothing is required. You could just sit back and watch these videos, but if you wanna repeat any of the things that I show you in the course, you'll need to have a few things on your side of the screen. You're gonna to need to have a SharePoint environment in order to fully test and build components that you're gonna be working on. And I suggest you have a Microsoft 365 developer tenant in a local developer environment. We'll get to that later. Now sure, SharePoint Framework is supported on some on-premises SharePoint deployments, but well, we're gonna get more to that in a little bit later. The other two chapters in the free starter bundle you're currently watching cover what environments support the SharePoint Framework and what you need to develop for each one of them in a lot more detail. In addition to a SharePoint environment, while it's not required, it would help if you had some understanding of some of the core concepts in SharePoint. Things like what a tenant is, a site collection, a site, a list, a document library. It will help quite a bit if you know what these things are, but it's not exactly required. Now, I'm not going to cover these in the course as they're well covered throughout the SharePoint documentation or if you just take a minute and do a simple Google search. Now, as I said earlier, you're also going to need a developer environment. Now, any relatively modern desktop or laptop that you use to build web apps is gonna work. All, you need, all you're doing is JavaScript-based development with a text editor and running some tools. You don't need a much to really accomplish these different tasks. Don't worry about setting it up right now. I've got a whole chapter that's dedicated to that topic later in this free starter bundle. So just sit tight. Last but certainly not least, you really should have some sort of a web developer background. 
Ideally, you've got some experience with JavaScript, TypeScript, or building client-side web applications. And if not, don't worry. I want this course to also speak to those traditional SharePoint developers who I know spend more time server-side than they do client-side. So I've got you guys covered as well. Now that's it. You don't need much to work with the SharePoint framework, and this lesson is really served as an introductory or overview for this entire chapter. I told you what you can expect from this chapter, explained who the target audience is for this course, and also shared a couple, I guess we can call them prerequisites. Okay, now that's gonna wrap up my brief introduction to the course. Now in the next lesson, I wanna introduce myself, as we'll be spending a lot of time together as you make your way throughout my course. Now, if you already know me, well, feel free to skip to the next lesson and jump straight into the discussion on the course bundles and the chapter list. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, I want to introduce myself. We're going to spend quite a bit of time together, so I think it's best if you know who I am. My name is Andrew Connell, and I'm a web developer from St. John's, Florida, who loves to learn new things in tech and help others learn them as well. Microsoft has recognized me every year since 2005 with their annual MVP award, specifically in the area of office development. I've been teaching for over 15 years in just about every way you can think of. Uh, during most of that time, I focused on enterprise platforms, such as things like Microsoft.NET Framework, the Office platform, SharePoint, Microsoft Azure, Microsoft 365, SharePoint Online, you name it. The one thing that's been constant over that time is I've primarily focused on working with web technologies. And in addition, I'm also a co-host of a podcast called the Microsoft Cloud Show. We've been going strong, publishing weekly episodes since October of 2013. And this is where you can hear me talk about Microsoft Cloud-related topics, including SharePoint, Office 365, Microsoft 365, Microsoft Azure, and other related things. Now, I'm the course author and the founder of Voitanos, and I originally authored and published this course starting in 2017, but I kept building it up until I completed it in the summer of 2020. So you're probably wondering, why should you let me teach you the SharePoint framework? I have a lot of experience with SharePoint and teaching SharePoint development. And I've been living in SharePoint development since September of 2003. And I've been teaching since 2006. Trust me, that's a long time. And when it comes to the SharePoint framework, I've been involved in it and working with Microsoft even before they released the very first private betas to customers and vendors. So why should you trust me? Well, look, the best way to answer that is to look at what others have said about the course the sessions and the workshops I've presented at conferences across the globe, and the fact that Microsoft has been hiring me for many years to write and publish developer training materials that you can find on the Microsoft Learning site. This includes topics like Azure uh, Active Directory, Microsoft Identity, Microsoft Graph, Office Add-ins, Microsoft Teams, and you guessed it, SharePoint. Okay. With the introductions out of the way, let's move on to the next lesson where I'll explain the different course bundles and explain what you'll find in each one. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, allow me to explain how I've structured this course, packaged the content up into three different bundles, and what tools are available to you when you're taking this course. Now, this course is broken up into three different bundles. and Each bundle gets bigger, contains more content, and adds additional interaction and learning opportunities. So when you enroll in one bundle, you get everything in all the downstream bundles. Now, what do I mean by that? If you enroll in the starter bundle, you only get access to the content and the resources that are included in that starter bundle. But the fundamentals bundle, that has a lot more chapters, including uh, more learning resources, and it includes everything that not only Fundamentals has, but also everything in the Starter Bundle. But if you also enroll in the Ultimate Bundle, you get even more content, demos, learning resources, in addition to everything in Fundamentals and Starter. Now, let's look at each of these in a little more depth. And I'm going to start with an overview of each one and then discuss what topics are covered in each one of the different bundles. So let's start with the Starter Bundle, which I've said is entirely free. It's what you're watching right now. Now, this bundle includes the first few chapters, this introductory chapter, and a couple more chapters that explain what the SharePoint framework is and how to get your development environment configured to build customizations that leverage the SharePoint framework, including some demos showing you how to do this. Now, I'm giving this starter bundle away for free, 100% free. 
so you can see what you're getting yourself into before you're committing yourself to actually purchasing the course and enrolling. Okay, but I'm also doing it because I want to make it easy so that you can see what the course style and quality will be like before you buy it. Think about like try before you buy. Now next up is the fundamentals bundle. This bundle includes everything that you get in the free starter bundle, but it also includes a lot more content, like 16 more chapters and more than 17 additional hours of instruction on top of what's in the starter bundle. Now I created this, the fundamentals bundle for those developers who want to learn just enough about the SharePoint framework to be productive at your job. Maybe you just need to learn how to create client-side web parts with custom property panes, using a popular web framework like React, and style it up to make it look and feel the same as SharePoint. As any developer who's created something for SharePoint will attest to, you'll also need to know how to do simple CRUD-based operations against SharePoint lists, libraries, and other popular sources like Microsoft Graph. And finally, you'll also need to know how to package up your customizations and learn how to deploy and manage them uh, when in your day-to-day -day work. Now, if that's all you need, the Fundamentals Bundle's got you covered. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the topics that are, in, that are included in the Fundamentals Bundle. What kinds of things do I cover in the Fundamentals Bundle? Now, what you see here is a big list of all the chapters that are currently in the Fundamentals Bundle. So let me just briefly run through these so you know what's in here. Your first SharePoint Framework project, we're gonna create a SharePoint Framework project and walk through the process of what it's like to create it, looking at exploring what the, um, the Yeoman generator is actually building for us, what the scaffolding looks like, what all the folders and files are. We're gonna walk through all of that stuff. And instead of rebuilding projects over and over throughout the course, because the SharePoint framework is like an evergreen model that is always changing or is frequently changing with each update, I'm not gonna recreate every single project from scratch in every single chapter. And instead, I'm going to refer back to this first chapter in the Fundamentals Bundle so that you can see what the uh, current process is of creating a project and what it looks like using the most current version of the SharePoint Framework uh, Generator. You don't know what a generator is, that, that's okay. We're going to talk about it uh, in this starter bundle in another chapter. Um, then we're going to dig into the SharePoint Framework, just getting our hands a little bit more dirty, and then we're going to start building some real stuff. We've got a chapter on building client-side web parts and how to customize them how to build property panes for client-side web parts so we can modify the public properties on them, how to leverage external files and libraries, like maybe you want to use a date-time formatting uh, library like DateFN or Moment.js, two very popular libraries. What's the best way to do that? I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in that chapter. We're going to look at SharePoint Framework extensions, which gives us a way to extend the user interface and lists and libraries as well as every single page um, in SharePoint. We're gonna talk about how to do some common debugging and logging uh, techniques uh, inside the SharePoint framework, um, how to create uh, SharePoint assets using the feature framework, uh, what the deployment story looks like. So if I'm deploying to on-prem, if I'm deploying to SharePoint online, what are my options? Can I use Azure, CDNs, et cetera? We're gonna go through all that. Um, how do we upgrade and version our solutions? It's another big topic that you need to know about. It's not as straightforward as you may think it is of just uploading a new project. You need to understand all the different versions that are there. Um, we're going to talk about how to leverage jQuery in our projects, how to leverage React in our projects, uh, how to brand and style and theme our components so that they look like the rest of SharePoint. And then I've got chapters on doing things with data access. So working with the SP HTTP client, um, working with Microsoft Graph, uh, and also working with uh, how to call external uh, REST APIs that are either secured or just anonymous um, APIs as well. So I'll show you how to do all of that stuff uh, inside of the Fundamentals Bundle. It's quite a lot. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it is. It's over 17 hours worth of lecture and demos. But maybe you want more. What if you want to interact with your fellow students and get access to interactive discussions that we have and get even more topics uh, covered by the course. Well, that's where the ultimate bundle is gonna come in. This contains the most content, tools, and offers the most value. Um, this course includes everything that you're gonna find in the fundamentals bundle and the free bundles, but a whole lot more. So, like what? Well, in addition to 13 more chapters of explanation and demos that span over 14 hours, 
The Ultimate Bundle includes a lot more content and it covers a lot of things to make you uh, a master at working with the SharePoint framework. From learning how to work with the team environment, how uh, to add automated testing to your components, calling third-party services, and even creating your own external services and reusable libraries. You're also gonna learn some tips and tricks as uh, well as additional options for customizing and configuring your developer environment. They're gonna go beyond the basic install node, Yeoman Gulp generator, and start creating web parts. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do some additional customization stuff. So like what? Well, let's get a little bit more specific. Here's a list of all the topics that you're gonna find in the Ultimate Bundle, and there's a lot. We're gonna start off with a chapter on client-side web parts, more advanced scenarios, like using them in single-page apps, Microsoft Teams, and other options. Um, how to create custom property controls for our property panes. How to connect our web parts with other SharePoint Framework components using dynamic data. Um, how to work with Angular in SharePoint Framework solutions. How to add automated testing to our SharePoint Framework solutions. And then I've got a couple DevOps opportunities as well. Uh, for example, how to monitor, uh, add monitoring and telemetry um, uh, to your SharePoint Framework components using Azure Application Insights. And then also on the DevOps option or the DevOps theme, we're gonna look at CI and CD, how to implement continuous integration and continuous deployment um, using either two very popular tools, Azure uh, uh, Pipelines uh, or um, GitHub Actions. Um, I'm also gonna show you how to do localization uh, with SharePoint Framework components, how to work in a team-based environment. So if there's a lot of people on your team and you're all working on the same project, how to best leverage that. And then we'll look at how to customize your SharePoint developer uh, environment, your projects. I'm gonna show you how to customize Gulp, which is the um, uh, task runner that we have and how to do some really cool things with that. And then also in the Webpack chapter, it's gonna go in and show you a lot more stuff there uh, on how to customize Webpack. So for example, we could do some really interesting stuff like let's, um, uh, let's make sure that our, our source maps, our JavaScript source maps from when we compiled our TypeScript down to JavaScript, let's make sure that those things get included in the bundle so when they're deployed, we can easily debug our, uh, our solutions. So I'm gonna show you how to do all of that kind of stuff inside of the Ultimate Bundle. And if you wanna see the specifics of what's in each one of these chapters, not just in the Ultimate Bundle, but also in the Fundamentals Bundle, um, you'll find the overview uh, of each one of the chapters uh, listed on the homepage of the website uh, for this course uh, on the Voitanos.io website. So you see what I mean when I say the Ultimate Bundle will put you well on your way to mastering the SharePoint framework? Well, that's not all that you get within the Ultimate Bundle. But that's not all. Subscribers of the Ultimate Bundle, they also get access to a student-only mastermind group, regular access to the regular online office hours where you can submit questions so we can discuss your topics with fellow students. I'm gonna explain these benefits in greater depth in the next lesson. But regardless of the subscription bundle that you select, either the Starter Bundle, the Fundamentals Bundle, or the Ultimate Bundle, all subscribers will get all future updates and additions to the bundle that you subscribe to for free. So that means if Microsoft decides to uh, make a change to the SharePoint framework that updates dependencies, you'll get access to the updated videos and content as well as notifications that I've updated the course. The course is evergreen, and that means they're gonna get updated as necessary. Now, you might be saying to yourself, I'm not sure if I want fundamentals or ultimate. I uh, wish I could see the chapters that are only available in the ultimate bundle. Fair enough. If you head over to the page on the Voitanos website for the course, you'll find the introductory overview video for each chapter freely available that you can watch. That's gonna allow you to kind of test and see, you know, what's covered in that chapter and is that something that I want? All those are available on the site. Now, if you still aren't sure, don't worry. Send me an email and I'll get you sorted and explain your questions. But maybe you want to start small and not jump straight into the Ultimate Bundle. But don't worry, you can always upgrade from Fundamentals Bundle to the Ultimate Bundle at a later date at any time. The cost of the upgrade is just the difference in the price between the two bundles. And sometimes I run discounts. In other words, if you decide to get the Ultimate Bundle today, or if you decide to get the Fundamentals Bundle today and upgrade to the Ultimate Bundle in two months, it's gonna cost the exact same amount, either one. Okay, 
So that wraps up my overview on the different course bundles, as well as what topics that you're going to find in each one of these lessons. So in the next lesson, I'm going to switch topics. I'm going to explain how I've structured the course, as well as how you can get the most out of this course. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Hello and welcome back. I'm glad you're sticking with me. Okay, in this lesson, I want to switch topics and I want to explain how I've structured this course as well as how you can get the most out of this course. Once you subscribe to any of the course bundles, including the starter subscription bundle, I want to ensure that you know how to get the most value out of your investment. And let's take a few minutes to see how things are organized. Now let's start with the structure of the course. Most courses group videos and articles into a collection. Some companies call these modules, but it, the term module is a real thing in client-side development. So I'm gonna to refer to each of the individual videos as a lesson, and I'm gonna group multiple lessons together into a chapter. So right now, what you're doing is you're watching the lesson, how to get the most out of this course, and that's in the chapter number one, which is the course introduction and the overview. Now, periodically, technologies are updated. And as Microsoft updates the SharePoint framework with improvements or fixes or some new technique comes out, I'm going to update this course. And this might involve replacing an existing lesson or adding a brand new lesson. Now, to make things easy to find out what's new you, since you last watched the course, I've got this detailed change log. And this way that you'll be able to see what's changed with the course. And if there's significant changes or a lot of changes, this lesson will also get updated to have additional video content that explains those different details. Now, customers who subscribe to any of the three bundles will receive an email when the course is updated, so you don't have to remember to come back and check periodically. Just make sure you don't unsubscribe because then I can't email you. Now, the current technology landscape, especially for web developers, is a constantly changing and updating world. Now, this course makes use of a lot of client-side and web dev technologies, different tools, different editors, frameworks, libraries. There are a lot of different versions and combinations that you can have in your environment. Now, if there's a specific version or a tool that's important to be the topic being covered, refer to the lesson notes for the most up-to-date and accurate guidance. The lesson videos are also gonna be updated if, they're, if it's necessary to actually re-record the video. Now, each lesson may include additional notes like references to things covered in the course. All links mentioned in the course videos can be found under the lesson notes under the video. Some lessons will include additional references. Now, students of the fundamentals and the ultimate bundles will have access to a copy of all the demos shown within that lesson. You can find this download made available as a zip file on the home page of the course bundle that you're watching. That's the page that contains a list of all the chapters in the course bundle once you've logged into your account. The demo projects are organized by chapter. So within each chapter folder, you'll find a copy of the demo project as it was created in the lesson video. But in addition, if there's a more recent version of the SharePoint framework available, you'll also find the same project recreated with the latest version of the SharePoint framework. And why do I do this? Not all, not all lessons need to be re-recorded every time Microsoft releases a new version of the SharePoint framework. Some changes, they can be conveyed in the lesson notes. But I wanted to ensure that you'd have a version of the demo that works today using the latest version of the available SharePoint framework. Now, what if you have a question when you're watching a lesson or you need some extra help uh, if you need something in addition to the course? So first and foremost, please don't email me or Voitano's questions about topics that we cover in the course. If you've got an issue with your access, a billing issue or issues with the website, sure, email us. If it's an individual thing that's specific to you, definitely email us. But don't send us questions via email about topics. I get a ton of unsolicited questions every day and I just can't answer them and stay on top of them. And plus, one-on-one -on -one discussions, they don't help anyone else. Look, cards on the table, if you email me or Voitanos a technical question or something about a topic in the course, I'm gonna instead politely direct you to the following options I've made available to you to get your questions answered. Look, I set multiple blocks of time each week aside to review questions submitted using these different options that I provide you. The, all the lessons in all the bundles contain a commenting feature below the lesson uh, notes. So you got the video, lesson notes, and then commenting feature. Scroll down on this lesson you're watching right now to see the historical comments. 
And if your question is about a specific topic that's discussed in the lesson, this is really the best place to post it. And this is true even for the lessons in this free starter bundle. But what if you need more help or you want advice on a project? Now, that's really where the ultimate bundle uh, comes into, as I've got a couple different options just for you. First, I host regular live office hour sessions every month. All Ultimate Bundles of students will receive an email invitation to the next online office hour session where I'll discuss the latest news related to the SharePoint framework, and I'll also answer your questions or we'll have a discussion on some stuff. Um, all sessions are recorded for those who can't attend live, and I'm share them in a special chapter within the Ultimate Bundle. Now, the second benefit that I offer the Ultimate Bundle students um, you all have access to a private student-only mastermind group. Any student of the Ultimate Bundle can request access to the mastermind group and ask their questions. And this way, you get input not just from me, but from your peers. So you get the perspective of multiple people. Okay, that concludes the discussion on how you can get the most out of this course and what I wanted to cover in this opening chapter. My goal in this chapter was to introduce you to the course, to your instructor, that's me, show you how to get around the course on this site and how to get the most out of your investment. So enough with the introduction. Let's get started and let's jump into the first real chapter on the SharePoint framework. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please click that thumbs up and the big red subscribe button below to get more of my SharePoint framework educational content as I publish it. And this video is one of the chapters from the free starter bundle of my Mastering the SharePoint Framework course uh, by Voitanos. And you can find the other free videos from the starter bundle, bundle uh, that are listed in the description below. That course contains over 35 hours of in-depth explanation and instructor-led demos teaching you everything about the SharePoint Framework to become a master. I offer this course in three different bundles, the starter bundle that is this video was part of, um, as well as the fundamentals bundle and the ultimate bundle. Each of these bundles contains more content than the previous bundle and some additional resources like mastermind groups and places and uh, regularly scheduled office hours. You can learn more about the course on our site that I've linked here or by clicking the link in the description below the video.